I understand that you guys have been having a conversation on Twitter about the Mighty Ducks. So I guess this is sort of an, an uh, intervention. I don't, what, I don't even know what the conversation has been about with the Mighty Ducks, but I know it's heated. Uh, it, it's all Ronnie Stark's fault. First and foremost, okay. he posted that he was watching the Mighty Ducks mm -hmm. and the Mighty Ducks. For those that don't know, along with Angels in the Outfield is the uh, greatest sports movies of all time. Uh, you've got such uh, a legendary trilogy and it just kind of went from there. And uh, I feel that Mad Mike and I have a kinship now, a bond, if you will. A, a, a brotherhood. Of, of District 5. That's a deep cut. You know, oh, I'm just going to say... Wait, wait, this. wait, 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 wait a minute. When did that happen? So, yeah, he just threw that jersey on. Uh, yeah. Black Attack is back, Jack. Oh, BC, please have a jersey. That's all I ask. I, I'm going to say this. Um, there... there I saw I saw the Twitter conversation happening, <laughs> and I have long had my power rankings for Mighty Ducks players. And, you know, I, I asked BC for his rankings, and he and I vehemently disagreed. Uh, Sor Sorg, I, I have a quick question for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg, ha have you seen the Mighty Ducks movie? I have seen all three of the Mighty Ducks movies. I have not watched okay. the new show. Um, and uh, But I'm going to say that it has been years since I've watched these movies. Well, it's okay. time to watch them again, buddy. Like mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I rented them on VHS. Wow. Okay. Well, they're all on Disney+. Plus. Of course. But I, I do have, I a, feel like I do have a question. I do, have a, I do have a question. Yeah. Is the animated series canon? No. No. Those animated series just mm, we're we're gonna uh. i mean there yeah. were no animated ducks in the movie sorg so yeah, it's, sorg, sorg those were actual canon. those were those, they those were actual ducks in the cartoon okay mm. i didn't know if like no, no ducks were harmed in the I, making of those movies i didn't know if there was like an accident in like d4 that i wasn't aware of where like all the kids like mutated or something because i mean that d4, was for the secret of the use yeah d4 the secret of the use <laughs> now we're mixing our animals but yeah, I, I I thought you I thought you misspoke and meant D five for District Five, but you no, know. no. But they should have gone to that, shouldn't they? That's really punny. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Which was redrawn for those of you that are wondering. Oh, you know, that's yeah. why Adam Banks, the greatest player of all time. Now, did Banksy, since they redrew, he could have went back to play for them. Well, that is wasn't. true, but mm -hmm. but he never did. Well, that's because he his his heart was taken over by the ducks. They embraced it. Uh, by the way, if you're on audio, uh, BC still now has his ducks jersey on. That's true, <laughs> Mr. Gordon Bombay. By the way, the the yeah see, closer to the Minnesota Miracle Man than Charlie Conway. All right, you know what? I'm wearing a I'm wearing a jersey of an actual player. Thank you very much. You got well, the coach's jersey. That's Ooh. why there's a C are got, there. Are you also wearing Air Bombay loafers? Huh? Maybe. And I'm and and I could also blow a point one two if I had a breathalyzer like Bombay. So there. <laughs> no, that but, that part but, is not the case. Hey, breath or urine or you're full. I have a question. Can you also hit three pipes and the crossbar? Uh I against, I against probably, Wolf the Dennis Stanson. I could probably do one out of five. Okay. Just okay. like my hero Fulton. Who is also, by the way, a better player than Charlie Conway. Yeah, no, no. Charlie Conway is not the issue here. Like, I admit, he's not the best player. He just happens to be the person whose jersey I have. Hmm? My issue, sir, is Luis Mendoza. Luis ah, Mendoza. You, you, mean, you mean the man that's more concerned with uh, women than he is actually being a good hockey player? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, the, I man, believe... the man, also, if I may, sir, who was more concerned about looking up girls' skirts mm -hmm. at Eden Hall Academy than practicing. Yes. Yes, Luis Mendoza is the worst player in all of the Mighty Ducks. This is this. Oh. I don't, can do, we, oh, does this movie can hold just, up in 2021? No. <laughs> can we also point out that he broke the fourth wall and looked at the camera and went, "Yeah." Well, all right. To, to be fair, yeah, th that's 
That's not what you want. That, that's, well, that's that, why he's nine on my list. I, I no, agree. He that. doesn't. He doesn't even deserve to make top ten. Oh, I mean, you he can't put you can't 10. put Ken Wu. That, that let's be honest. That's where it is. It's Luis Mendoza against Ken Wu. I think no, I'm so no, uh, no, no. I'm sorry. You had Goldberg below Luis Mendoza, a man yeah. who does not know how to stop skating forward. <laughs> Uh, he knew how he does. Stop. No, no, he doesn't. I, He's only done it twice. I gotta also say, um, I also don't know how to stop when I'm skating. Sorg, you are not a professional hockey player. But I am a professional podcaster. Yes, but you know how to stop podcasting. Mm, you would think that. No, you wouldn't <laughs> think that knowing how long these shows go. <laughs> well, all right. But but you know how to stop once we get to a certain point. I, you know how to pivot yes, to Yes, I know ad. how to stop when the card is full. Hey, uh, some wrestling promotions don't know how to stop when the card is full. So. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Shit. Look, Goldberg on defense, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that number 11 spot okay, all right. for so, what he did hold on, on hold on. I, I have your list. I have your list. From Goldberg should have went back to Philly. Where he belongs you have, for the rest of the trash. You have Luis Mendoza above Portman. Yeah. No. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it, the, the Mighty Ducks, talented though they may be, they were not big on defense. And Portman was the answer for defense. In two, count them, two of the three movies. Without I, Portman, I... they would not have beaten Iceland. Without Portman, they would not have beaten the Varsity. No, oh, they would have definitely beaten the Vars. Portman came in and got a – it's like watching Evgeny Malkin get a penalty at the most inopportune time. Uh, that's what Dean and, – And I'm sorry, is Evgeny Malkin not one of the greatest hockey players in the history of the sport? He, he absolutely is. That's what, what I'm Port, saying. Portman is not anywhere near the offensive firepower. Name name two offensive uh, – offensive, uh, He's a moments. defensive player. I need offense. I mean, the Ducks, let's face All it, right, until, yeah. until Coach O'Ryan, what did the Ducks okay. ever do on defense? Name, name. All right. Has Luis scored more on or off the ice in the movies? Well. There's your answer. You know, to There's be fair. your answer. To be fair, we, we never saw off the ice. That would make it a much different topic. Well, we at the end of the movie, we saw technically off the ice because mm-hmm. – he was just like, oh, it was our little secret. Yeah. So, he, so, yeah, so he's, so he's, also, he's also a prick. This is also true. <laughs> he's also a prick. I'm sorry. That bumps him all the way down to the bottom of my list. Charlie, <laughs> not the best player, I'll grant you. But he is, he's the glue on the team. Look, the only he's the reason, glue on the team. The only reason Charlie was the glue of the team and he was a captain, because Bombay was fucking his mom. That's true. Yeah, but that was that was in the first movie. That was in the first movie. And Bombay, probably the sec- no, they were not banging in the second movie. No, she had been remarried by the third one. Yeah, oh, Bombay was. Really? was yeah, Bombay, Bombay was trying to bang the Iceland chick in the second movie. And now he's trying and to then, bang his up, mom in this TV show. Well, and and Bombay also tried to bang the tutor. Let's <laughs> let's not get it twisted. He, Gordon, he, Gordon Bombay was a dick slayer. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's Slayer Bro, not Dick Slayer. I don't think that means what you think that means. I yes, it does. All right. No, he just like you said, Gordon Bombay was Dick Slater. I got it. Now I do need to go back and watch all these movies with this context. Right? You got to mute because I'm laughing so hard. I mean, look, here here here's the thing. Not only are the Mighty Ducks, hey, not only are the Mighty Ducks the greatest movie of all time, but it, it it's like Imagine having that movie and then shortly thereafter or before, because I don't remember how time works, getting Angels in the Outfield. I don't have an Angels in the All Outfield. Right. Okay, Angels in the Outfield sucks. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Neil McDonough, uh, Adrian Brody, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, Matthew yeah. McConaughey, yeah. Yeah. Danny Glover, Tony Danza, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Mm-hmm. Hold me closer, mm-hmm. Tony Danza. So, some some guy who's old was in a bunch of westerns that died, whose name I can't remember. J. O. Sanders. I wow, mean, what a big name! What a big <laughs> name that guy is. Yeah, he was an old guy from a western, but he's fucking busy. So it's fine. Who is he? Cal Brony? 
is the movie. only the only reason I know who that guy is is watching the movie one day. My grandfather goes, "Oh, is that so and so?" And I go, "Yeah." And my grandfather goes, "Well, he looks like shit," and just kept on walking. So that's all I know about the guy. So you don't really know anything about him. Well, I know he. I know he was a person. <laughs> well, on that note, we do have a run-in happening on the show right yes, now. Yes, we do. We do have a special <sighs> guest has popped up. Hey. <laughs> Because Dutter oh, finally a champion on this show. Dutter is finally a fucking hey. champion. The only champion on this show. Well, I guess we I guess, I guess your music. Ron, I guess Ronnie technically is still tag champ, but right, right, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other champion there. on the show, the first women's <laughs> champion on the show. Yeah, Dutter's is a real champion. She defeated cancer. Goddamn it. That's right. <laughs> No, uh, so Katie's popping in because you had a, a little bit of a wrestling moment this past weekend. Yeah, I just I have random wrestling moments, and this was uh, the biggest one, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Besides meeting uh, BC Steel for the first time, of course. That was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Katie, 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 the rest of your life. Katie, you don't you don't have to kiss his ass. He's 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 been so wrong on this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't listen. Mad Mike is the Ken Wu of the show. I, I gotta wonder. So what... you mean I'm incredibly talented and could make the the Olympics? Yes, uh, thank you uh, very much. Poor, I'll take that compliment. Poor Katie, who was like, "Can I pop into the wrestling <laughs> show?" Pops in and sees you guys in Mighty Ducks jerseys talking about the movies. And went, no, no, not even that. Talking about Angels in the Outfield when she popped in. You must be so confused right now. <laughs> what the year was a better movie than Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> 